Hello everyone and welcome back to Age of Nagash which is a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma and in this video it's just going to be a quick one because we have been given a little bit of a reveal of what we can see for one of the Ostrich Bone Reaper models coming out in their warband in Warhammer Underworld, Dire Chasm. So this is just going to be a really quick video just going over the model that we've seen and my thoughts on it and more than anything else I want to hear your thoughts on this new model that we have been shown in this article. Now I haven't actually read through the article yet but I've seen the model itself. So I'll be reading through the article with you guys as well so I sort of like learn as you do as I normally do when I cover news and uh, let's get straight to it. So it says the one final warband joins the Warhammer Underworlds season for, uh, uh, for the roadmap sorry. So uh, Warhammer War Underworld's Diachasm, yep, so as we can see we've got the model there, but we'll read the description first. So, for its fourth season, Warhammer Underworld's is in its best shape it's ever been. Uh, Karag's uh, Ravengers, however it's pronounced, are already hard at work desecrating Diachasm, while we've also had a glimpse of the Starblood Stalkers, Crimson Court, and head, uh, Headcracker's Mad Mob, the uh, bone splits there. So now the next warband really has a bone to pick with you. They love the uh, puns, don't they? So as one or two of you may have guessed from the logo on previous Roadmaps articles, the seventh warband for Diachasm are drawn from the ranks of the Ostrich Bone Reapers. Now we're not just going to show off any member of Canaan's Reapers. Oh no we're going to show off the main skeleton say hello to mere canaan i think it is pronounced and this is him here so i for one really like the model that's my first thoughts on it i'm just going to read through everything we know of it and then i'll give you my overall sort of thoughts of as a package so because i know there's more text so we've got this is the first time we've seen a mortisan executioner in the mortal realms and as you might expect from someone who carries such a big axe he's pretty handy in a fight but who will be joining the reapers as the final warband of season four looks like something's fishy is going on on the updated roadmap so here we are here and then yeah okay so that looks like a I was going to say a flying fish, but they all seem to fly anyway because they, they fly through the ether sea or whatever it is for the um, uh, Iden F. Deepkin. That's what we're going to see then. We know from the symbol anyway. Um, and then it says, we, uh, so we'll be showing off uh, Canaan's Reapers in full at this weekend's Warhammer preview online. Why not ask uh, Vokmordian to make a note so that you don't forget? Don't forget that if you're already a follower of uh, Catacross, the new Warband will also have rules for use in Warhammer Age Sigma. Just a little bit of a hint there. Most of these warbands rules for Age of Sigma are not very good. There's the few exceptions that are useful and are good to those armies. But as a whole, they're not very good when they translate over. And it's almost just weird because just that's what we come to expect. It's like surely Games Workshop knows how to make good War Scrolls and they just choose not to. It's, it's weird. Um, so don't have your expectations too high is all I'm going to say for using it in... Age of Sigma, but you could use them as standard models for other things. We know we're going to have a, a archer as well for the Ostrich Bone Reapers. We saw a silhouette of that, and we'll be shown this in full, like they said on Saturday at the weekend. And I will be doing a video straight after, so give you my full thoughts. But it's like maybe foreshadowing that we could have, you know, a normal version of this guy come out at some point in the future when Ostrich Bone Reapers get an update in terms of models, and then we could have like Ostrich Bone Reaper archers as a unit potentially. But this guy himself, without knowing that, what is he, a Mortisan Executioner, I would have said that he was a Mortisan uh, Soul Reaper, and that's just because he looks very much like that of his, uh, the bone sort of helmet, as he, no, it's not a helmet, it's his head basically, but the bone structure we've got there. And then the um, uh, Reaper has the, uh, the scythe. And then this is an axe, so it is different, but very much looks like that thing. But this guy looks like he's a combat orientated hero, which is really quite interesting. Hopefully he's he's a decent size. He's not just the same size as a Mortec guard. Hopefully he's a bit bigger. It would be nice. And if you're thinking, well, it's just, you know, a skeleton. Obviously these are constructed out of the like the material of bone. So he can be taller. So it doesn't have to be the same as a Mortec guard, essentially. But it'd be quite nice if he's a bit, a little bit big, you know, I don't know, twice the size of a Mortec guard. That would be awesome. But I don't think he'll be that big. But anyway, with this guy 
when it comes to why is he really useful for Osh Bone Reapers in terms of Age of Sigma, sorry, you can hear the Discord going off. Um, why is he really useful for Age of Sigma? It's because there's quite a few um, like command traits and artifacts in the Osh Bone Reapers, which, as you've seen, as I've been going through, and I've actually got a video coming out tonight about that, um, there's a lot of artifacts, command traits that like buffs people's like attacks and stuff. And the only one it can really go on is a Liege Caveos. And then this guy comes in and he is a new uh, hero to be a bit more combat -y. But the problem is he'll be unique as he's from the Warband. So he won't be able to take the artifacts anywhere with the command traits. Anyway, so it's a bit of a shame there. But I look at this as foreshadowing of what we can see in the future. And also you could use him as a proxy as, I don't know, a Soul Reaper or something like that. So... Um, yeah, that, that's all we got, guys. Just a very short one, but I just thought I'd cover it as I'm doing uh, a lot of folks on Ostrich Bone Reapers at the moment. Like I said, I've got that video out later with the sub allegiances, and I thought I can't not cover a new model for them coming out, even though we're going to see more of them on Saturday. So join us for that show as well. So, yeah, that's it, guys. So I'm going to thank you very much for watching this video. I want to know your thoughts on what we've seen here and what we think we can see. Maybe just on Saturday, but also in the future for Ostrich Brain Reapers. What are your thoughts about that? Let me know down below. What do you think they need as well? That'd be an interesting question. And um, yeah, so guys, if you did enjoy the video, please, as always, smash that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification. I know a lot of you guys have been doing that lately and it doesn't go unnoticed. Really makes a big difference. And it's all absolutely free for you guys to do so. So if you could click those free buttons, uh, what's it called? Like, subscribe, bell notification, it massively help me out. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. And what I will say as well is a huge and massive shout out to my patrons and my YouTube members, as you can see on the screen now. Because of these people, I can continue my YouTube channel and I can continue to help people get into Age of Sigma and continue their Age of Sigma journey. So my top supporters are going to be my Morgas, which is our Ostrich Bone Reapers, so it's cool there. And that's going to be Jonathan H, Philco, Bleed Red, and Christopher G. As my top supporter, guys, you really do help keep me going and your... Um, massive generosity i really do appreciate it so thank you so much and please keep it up and then my vampires which are mir martin s rouse 321 david a ronnie h doug p and spare bear thank you so much guys as well it really makes a difference with the support you're giving me as well so thanks for that a lot and then my necromancers which is <coughs> pardon me sorry i got something in my throat uh my necromancers which is jack l radiation riley aw77 dice sagas wolf nick michael w quad cranky wombat christopher f christopher c james s steve t Thank you all for your help as well, guys. You all help towards me keeping this going. And if anyone would like to support Agent Agash and keep this channel going, you'll find a join button next to the subscribe button. If you press that, you can give anything you would like. You can give at least like one pound a month and that just goes a huge way to help out. And if you want to go to Patreon, you'll find a link to my Patreon on the top of the description down below. And even just gave one dollar a month, it'll massively, again, help out but that's absolutely up to you guys and if you can't do it there's no problem at all but if you did enjoy the video like i said like subscribe bell notification and um to be honest guys i'm just really glad that you came and checked out this video let me know your thoughts down below and um, i hope you're excited as i am to see what we're going to get on saturday lots of high expectations now we know this is the main man so he's probably going to be the coolest looking one but still the others could be very cool as well. Just be nice to see what that art just like. But anyway, guys, so with that, I'm going to thank you again very much for watching this video. Remember to next time to stay safe by wearing a mask, washing your hands, and for God's sake, stay hygienic. So when this warband comes out, we can actually play Warhammer Underworlds if you're interested in that and uh, have a bloody good time. And apart from that, though, more importantly, remember that Nagash is all, and all is one in Nagash. And also, just to say, I said that Ostrich Brain Reaper video is coming out later today. I forgot. That's the Sinesh video. The Ostrich Brain Reaper video is coming out later this week, but not long. Okay, guys, I'll chat to you later. Thanks for watching.